something that we need. It is something that we need. What do we need, James? Yeah, what do we need? We need, we need sports. Just like the hand sanitizer that we use and we put on our hands and say we're cleaning our hands because we want to be clean and nice. That's what sports means to all of us. You're right. Sports is like cleaning your hands and washing them. How could they even be like washing them? It's not like you're like washing your hands and putting soap. Well, it is. It's like water. When you see the soccer ball go through the freaking goal. Or you see the slam dunk. Or you see the touchdown. Or you see the greatness of the guy in the hockey puck. The, 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 the hockey puck. Yeah, the hockey puck into the goal. And you say, wow, that was some great sports. That's what we need. We have NASCAR. Now let's see all the other sports come back. Yes, it's un-American to have no sports. It's un-American to not have a champion of basketball or a champion of... Um, does he actually watch hockey? I do. No, you do not. Well, I did when the Dallas Stars won. That was a long time ago. What about like watching Star Wars? Like the one you were trying to watch last night? Was that sports? No, that was not sports. That was not sports at all. I, I, I frankly don't even <laughs> can tell you what that was. Well, it wasn't a Star Wars movie. But sports. We need to understand. Like Dan Patrick, Lieutenant governor of texas says we could do this safe yeah he had a good article i would like to really read his article many times because it's ingenious we could do this safe we're smart americans we're intelligent americans we're good americans yeah that, that, that's you just interrupted me on what i was going to say well i didn't really mean to interrupt you on what you were going to say but i understand this sports needs to be back Sports needs to be in our living rooms. We need to be at the sports. We need to be enjoying the sports. We can't live a life of fear, James. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Ow, why'd you slap me? It's almost my birthday. It was a birthday slap. Oh, yeah. Ow, you did again. Oh, my face. We are great Americans. Sports is what I love talking about. Sports. Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Mavericks, the sports that I love, that I love to talk about. That's what I want to talk about. That's what I want to talk about here, there. You want to talk about it everywhere. Yes, I do want to talk about it everywhere. Why do we not have this ongoing fear of just, oh no, um, if we get sports back, then it's going to be kind of bad. It's going to be really bad. It's like me losing my cloak, and then I never find it. You never did find it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I never did find it. Well, um, you know, maybe it's in the last place you looked. Maybe you can make a sports out of that. That would be a terrible sport, because if you had it, it would be really bad. Really, really bad. How bad would it be? Um, you know what you'd be doing. Um, I would be... Um, I don't know what I would be doing with it, but I would be, be very happy just like if sports was around. Yes, we need sports. Why do we need sports? Hold on, let me think. Sports, great moments, great athletic ability to show some their skills. They might be cocky. They might be just the guy that thinks I'm the best because I could slam dunk, that I could do a touchdown, I could throw, and I could, and other people, when you're at work. Yeah, right. What? what, what? People tell you that you are a team of losers because you never won a Super Bowl. Well, let me tell you something. If I didn't win a five-time Super Bowls, and the Eagles, um, that cool cat Connor? Yeah, that cool cat Connor. He doesn't even realize that his team won a Super Bowl with not their quarterback. And that's the truth. His broken down quarterback. Yeah, broken down wins. I'd like to see if he could actually keep himself 
non-injured. But I don't think it's happened. Maybe it could happen. Maybe it could come true. Uh, no. No. I bet my bottom dollar. You bet your bottom, bottom dollar, right? Yes, I bet my bottom, bottom dollar that he will not make it through the rest of the season. Okay, so, um, Cool Cat Connor, you have to prove him wrong for some reason. Yes, I have to prove him wrong. That's why we need sports. That's why we need sports right now, sports today, sports tomorrow, sports all the time. We need sports. I don't know how many times I have to say it. I don't care what sport it is. I don't care if it's cricket. Cricket? I mean, what's cricket? Cricket is like the the sport is baseball in America. Wait a minute, are, are you serious? Yeah, watch this. That's not that is not baseball. If that's baseball, what kind of bat is that? That's the bat they use. You, you gotta be kidding me. Give me a break. No, no. Okay, okay. It's just another form of sports that they use as baseball. But they call it cricket. Yes, they call it cricket. What do you think they call soccer? Soccer? No, they call it football. All right, now I am really confused. How do you call soccer football? I don't know. That's what you call it. That's what you call it. You call it football. And we call football, football. And we call soccer, soccer. But that's how it goes. That's how it is. That's what makes sports great. Oh, wow. You could be some kind of speech guy for sports. Yes, sports, I say, is coming. And sports will not be stopped by fear. Sports will not be stopped by thinking that we can't have sports, that we cannot put people in a stadium, in a place, in a where they can watch it. You have hand sanitizer. You can sanitize your hands. You can put them and rub them and make sure that you rub every space and thing of your hand so you'll be clean. You make sure you, the distancing. Fine, we'll distance. We'll, we won't sit all together, but we need to be in stands. Texas Rangers Stadium is the exact point of what I'm talking about. We need to see the new stadium. We need to see the greatness of the new stadium. It is the new Rangers ballpark, the temple. We need to listen to sports. We need to not live in the fear of what fear has can have a hold on us. Can have a hold on us at all. You're right, James. Fear will never fear us again. No. Fear will never take hold of our lives. We will watch sports. We will love sports. And we will go to the games. And we will watch the games. And we will make fun of all little giant fans. And the stinking eagles. All stinking eagle fans. And their belief that they're going to win a Super Bowl. And that's the goal of what my sports, being back, being in front of the TV, eating some nachos, eating a burger, eating something that I made, and watching my Dallas Cowboy punch the Eagles, the Little Giants, in the face. Wow, you are a great sports guy. No, I'm just a sports fan that has had enough and I can't take it no more. I need the sports. We need the sports. We need the sports. Yes, we need the sports. We need the sports. We need Legos. No, we don't. Ow, God, you hit me in the face again. Why? I was just saying maybe Legos could be like sports. How could Legos be like sports? You know, you create something they had that show where they created and it was like sports that got sports. Tag. Ow! Okay, Tag was a bad show, even from the start of looking at it. Yeah, I could tell you. Let's play a game on TV called Tag. Great, great job.
box. Yeah, I would agree. Great job. Let's get the sports back. Yeah, sports back.